everyone, I'm Lloyd and welcome back. Now obviously you read the title to this video and I'm sure that you're wondering, are scripts actually necessary for you to memorize and learn in real estate? Now if you've been watching my videos for a while, I'm sure that you have seen me and heard me say how important it is to know your scripts and role play. Now, the reason that I wanted to make this video is because I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys asking me if I actually know my scripts word for word and what have I done in order to not sound like a robot and sound so scripted when I'm talking on the phone or in person. Now, believe me when I say that when I started, I know exactly why you guys are asking because I was in that position where I thought the same thing. Um, there were many times that I was calling for sale by owners and expireds and they would tell me, are you reading a script or something or why are you asking so many questions? And I realized that the way that I sounded was because I hadn't internalized my scripts. So I want to let you guys know that perhaps you're new or maybe you don't know your scripts or you don't take them seriously, but until you actually internalize them, you will continue to sound like a robot or you'll sound very scripted. Why? Because you don't have your tonality down and the way that you deliver it doesn't sound normal. It doesn't sound like you're actually having a conversation. If you've seen the video that I have posted where I have done a live listing presentation, it was a role play, you'll see that pretty much it was a script what I was saying. But I have it memorized so well that it didn't sound like a script and it sounded like I had a conversation with the gentleman that I was on the presentation on. I'll make sure to put the link somewhere here so you guys can check it out. And again, you know, it's because of constant practice and role playing that I got to that point. To put it for you in a different perspective, think of athletes. Now obviously they get paid thousands if not millions of dollars to play their sport because they are pretty much masters at their craft. Now what is it that they always do before a game? Think of it. They're always practicing. They're always warming up so that when they go out and play that game, whether it's baseball, football, basketball, whatever it is, they want to make sure that they're very well prepared. So the same way that they are professional athletes looking to pay hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, we are in real estate because at the same time, we want to get paid those thousands, if not millions of dollars in the commission by selling homes. So it only makes sense for us to practice, practice and know our scripts as well. It's so important for you to know your scripts. That way, when you get in front of a potential buyer or seller, you come across so confident I'm not saying cocky, but I'm saying confident that they see, okay, wow, you know, Loida, she sounds like she knows her stuff. She's very confident in the way that she speaks. I definitely want to hire her to sell my house. And I can't tell you how many times I've heard that from potential clients. They tell me, you know what, Loida, you seem very young, but I trust you. Um, I was thinking about hiring somebody else, but I would rather go with you because you sound very confident and I would rather hire somebody that I know can get the job done. And just so you know, these scripts are more of a guideline. You should know what to say, what questions to ask in order to see if you can actually help someone. So don't think of a script of just a list of 20 questions. It is a list of 20 questions, but at the same time, you have to know them so well that when you deliver and ask those questions, it sounds like you're asking your friend and you're having a conversation, not so much of how much do you own your home or where are you going to next? What's taking you there? How soon do you want to be there? Because it's not like that. You have to incorporate tonality and you have to incorporate your delivery to sound like a conversation. So what I want to leave you with in this video is that number one, you definitely have to memorize and internalize your scripts. Once you have that down, then you can work on your tonality and your delivery. And it is then when it's actually going to sound like a conversation rather than a list of questions. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section and I'll see you guys on the next one.